selects options other and formatted for no top or bottom, margins or page breaks. <laughs> Put that back, baby. Michael, I can't use this computer. It doesn't understand me. It's all in the manual. Ooh. After all I've done for you, I raised you, I gave birth to you. God! I even had sex with your father. <laughs> Look, I've made you a cup of tea. As far as I'm concerned, we're now quits. Did you make one for Richard? He's gone for a walk. Really? <laughs> that doesn't sound like him. He doesn't normally have the energy to do his own breathing. He said he was feeling guilty about dossing here, that he was imposing, outstaying his welcome and being a parasite. What brought that on? I told him he was imposing, outstaying his welcome and being a parasite. <laughs> you ever considered a career in counselling? Well, somebody's got to be horrible to him, otherwise he's going to overdose on niceness. No, I'm not that nice to him, you know. I told him to do the washing up the other night. Mm, quick, call Amnesty International. Why tell him to do five minutes washing up if he does spend four days doing his job applications? I'm just giving him a help, you know. I know that there are limits to what I can do. I'm not Richard. I, I do know that. Mm-hmm. Hello? Ah, oh, um, can you hold the line, please? I'm trying to connect you. <laughs> Hello, uh, Richard Norton here. Yes, can I take a message? Ah, uh, the Hendon Bathroom Centre tomorrow, an interview. 10.30, thank you very much, goodbye. Well, you know how timid he is on the phone. It's like talking to a Trappist chat line. Ah, I wish it was like that all the time. He wouldn't bloody shut up when he found out I was gay. Kept on going on about how gay or straight we're all the same. Miserable worms leading a, a futile existence in a meaningless universe. Yeah, he has cheered up a lot recently, hasn't yeah. he? <laughs> I didn't think you were going to tell him. Well, I've just decided that if I'm gay, I'm gay. I've got to be proud of it, be completely open about it, and tell everyone. <gasps> Although, of course, I don't want to be too dogmatic about that. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be here. You're just the person I want to see. Jane, I need a helpline for gingivitis. <laughs> Lily's gums are up and she can't manage solids. Right. I'm not stopping long, darling, but I just wanted you to see these. Mm. Who's this? Don't you remember Dominic Finkelman? No. Oh, tall boy, big forehead. We all thought he was simple. <laughs> well, he's not so simple now. <laughs> Look what he's created. Uh, with the help of that girl from the Delicatessen. Baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was going to be a cake. <laughs> Dominic has created a miracle on the Finchley Road. To think Lily Finkelman blessed with great-grandchildren. Isn't it wonderful? Mm. Mm, the baby's certainly got the family forehead. <laughs> a projecting forehead can be very attractive, Jane. <laughs> oh, here's me with the baby. Look, look, don't I look radiant? <laughs> and look, look, she's grinning. Yeah, I was grinning at that age until I found out who my mother was. You see, Michael, so sweet at that age, and then they curdle. Uh, I've got a few others here. Right, there, there's the baby from the side. There's the baby from the other side. There's the baby from above. the baby from underneath. The, the baby on a blanket, the baby on a cushion, the baby in a car. No, 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 It's me with the baby. I, uh, don't you think I'd make the most perfect great-grandmother? Mother, mother. No, oh, mm, Michael, I can't stop. It's bath time at the Finkelmans, and I've got a couple of rolls of film I've got to get through. Yeah, I'll leave these with you. Uh, mm. Uh, I'll call you later for that number, Jane. <laughs> I'm sure Lily can liquidise for one more afternoon. Um... Do you think I could get Richard a job as a hitman? Uh, somebody's going to have to tell her about me. How do you think she's going to react? I guess you'll find out when you tell her. <laughs> Mother, I've, I've got something to tell you. It's, um, it's, it's about Michael. He's, um, he's gay. Michael? <laughs> Gay? <laughs> no, 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 it's too direct. I'll have to think of something else. Mother, mother, um, you remember Monsieur Maurice? Used to do your hair, went to the theatre a lot. <laughs> well, Michael's like him. <coughs> Michael, a hairdresser. <laughs> come in, come in.
Amen. Right. Jane, I've got that list of guests for the programme tomorrow. Great. Thank you, Catherine. And I've just typed up that list of questions you were considering. Fine. And did you say you wanted a sandwich for your lunch? Yes, please. Because here's a list of the sandwiches they do around the corner. Right. <laughs> did you get a list of the routes to and from the sandwich shops? No. Oh, don't worry. Sit down. Jane, I had to go at your introduction for the show tomorrow. Wonderful. Come on, let's hear it. My guest this afternoon is Dr. Wim van der Wieden, as well as being a general practitioner, or you could say GP for short. Thank you. Dr. <laughs> van der Wieden is a hypnotherapist and has had spectacular success treating patients suffering from severe anxiety. He was born in 1958 in Utrecht, one of the most important centres of mercantile activity in the Netherlands. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine. Catherine. Too much. Too much, yeah. Why don't you just take the first Jane, half? I absolutely must parlez vous. <laughs> oh. Oh. Catherine, be an angel and piss off, will you? Good work, thank you, thank you. You will never guess what happened to me last night. You got beaten up at charm school. <laughs> I had sex with a piano. I then sang with the Rolling Stones, and I ended up giving birth to a fully grown golden retriever. Gosh, and they say nothing happens in Reigate on a Sunday night. Oh, sure. I was hypnotised by Valentino. Yeah. He's a genius, Jane. He won the Radio Solent 1993 High Hope Award, and I think he's going to go even further. Can you go further? The point is, since our show tomorrow is about hypnosis... No, it's about hypnotherapy. Whatever. We must have <laughs> Valentino on. No, forgive me, Deborah, but how is a serious analysis of current psychotherapeutic trends going to benefit from a fellow who makes people bonk furniture? It makes <laughs> sense, Jane. We match tedium with excitement. Your dried-up old Dutchman on the one hand with my moist young entertainer on the other. Have you, ever, have you ever wondered what it's like to have concussion? Jane, I'm pretty word it. Balance. Deborah, an ultra pretty word a letalina. Die. <laughs> Prejudice is an ugly thing, Jane. Especially when it's wearing cheap knitwear. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I should have fried the meat to seal in the flavour. <laughs> Jane, uh, the flavour will be all over the floor of the dish. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mother. Mm. Why don't I ever listen to MasterChef instead of just watching Lloyd Grossman's vowels? <laughs> I don't even know if Daniel likes la <laughs> I should have just made him an omelette. You can't go wrong with an omelette. Unless, of course, you've got no eggs. <laughs> oh. God, why am I so nervous? And I'm 46, for God's sake. If you don't count the two years, I don't count. And I'm like a schoolgirl. <laughs> well, actually, I'm worse than a schoolgirl. Your average schoolgirl's had sex with him the last five years. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to do it at my age. Well, I keep my bra on. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> you go in the bathroom, you get undressed, and then you come out with a towel around you, and then you just let the towel drop. And everything else drop with it. <laughs> Turn the lights out, and then I'll just drape all my loose bits artistically on the bed. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll light a candle, and the candle will set fire to the bedclothes, and the fire brigade will come, and we'll have to evacuate the house, and they'll never find out that I've forgotten how to do it, and I'll do it next time when I'm thinner. <laughs> OK, then. Here we go. <laughs> Go in. It's only a pub. It's just like any other pub, except it's gay. You can't stand here forever. How interested can you be in egg mayonnaise? <laughs> I wonder if it's real mayonnaise or just salad. <laughs> pull yourself together. Just go in. No one will notice. That man noticed. <laughs> oh, this is bloody stupid. Oh, 
I'm going in. All right. Out because I have to learn how to print out tomorrow. So I just put it there and then I know. Okay. Happy now? Yes. What I'll do is I'll put a mark <laughs> in the manual and then when I come to look at it tomorrow to print out, I'll know what page I want. Okay, I'm all yours now. Yeah, you see, the thing is. <laughs> You could really help me about this because you know Jane. about computers. Michael says it's all Jane, in the manual. Jane, put that down. Mm. Look, what's the matter? Well... What, don't you want to? Oh, God, yes, massively. <laughs> Just, so? Well, I mean, you know, look at you. you. You're gorgeous and you're lovely and you're beautiful and young and... Young and gorgeous and beautiful. <laughs> young and... You know, I mean, I suppose you're, um, you're really, uh, really good at this, aren't you? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, God, that's so depressing. <laughs> I suspect you've had a lot of practice as well, haven't you? Not really. Oh, last time I did, it was just after the old king died. <laughs> and then I didn't really realise I was doing it. Well, Jane, don't you think it's about time you started getting some practice? Well, yes, but, mm, mm. yes, mm. I do, but mm, it's a mm. bit like mm, it's a it's a bit like practicing your tennis against Boris Becker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm... No, that's no, fine. Sorry. Maybe we should just uh, leave it for tonight, eh? Oh God, <laughs> I haven't been this embarrassed since I was in bed with Lawrence and McCoyle picked up Radio Four. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Just love it. You come here a lot? Yeah. Well, not a lot. I mean, you know, sometimes, occasionally. <laughs> Actually, I've never been here before. What about you? Me? Well, uh, 